Welcome back to another vlog. I'm sitting at my dining table, which I think is one of the first times I've ever sat here since living here. Layla's drinking water in the background. So today is Tuesday. I have a relatively busy day today, but nothing too crazy. It's mostly editing. I have a meeting in about an hour, a little less than an hour. Just made my favorite breakfast, which is yogurt. And I'm looking for a dairy-free yogurt that I like, but every single one I've tried, every single vegan yogurt I've tried tastes like ass. I got my coffee with oat milk and I <laughs> randomly purchased this green juice. It smells like the juice bar when you walk into Whole Foods, like what the juice bar smells like. It just smells very green, but I thought it's never bad to get in a lot of greens, right? So here we go. That's green. I mostly taste cucumber. It supposedly has like grapefruit, peppermint tea. I don't know, I don't taste any of that. Oh yeah, I never finished saying what else is in this because you know, that's my brain. Um, so you yeah, have vanilla yogurt, Greek yogurt with bananas, strawberries. I usually like blueberries, but the grocery store was out of them for some reason this week. And then chia seeds and hemp hearts. I don't know, I've heard people say those are good for you. So I thought, why not? It adds a little crunch. So I'm going to finish up my breakfast, drink the rest of this juice. It's honestly not bad. It's like not the most, I wouldn't drink it if it was unpleasant. I'm sure it's better to eat a bunch of vegetables, but why not? And then we are going to get this day started. I have to clean my office because, you know, I filmed a video, AKA, it looks like a tornado went through there. So it's gonna be a great day. Just threw myself together in about <laughs> 10 minutes. I have like five minutes until my call. Earrings, Target. Clip, can you see that? Target. Shirt, Airy, I believe. Yes, this is from Airy. It's so comfortable. It's called the Henley Tank. I love it. Jean shorts, thrifted. I'm barefoot. Let's go. I have quite literally like three or four minutes to do this. So let's do it. this after the call because I simply do not have lay time. Got my, ooh, my very dirty blue light glasses on. It is about to strike 10 a.m. My Wi-Fi is not working and neither is my mouse. Got the blue light glasses on. These are from Morby Parker, by the way. I don't know why they're so dirty. It is 10 o'clock now and I'm going to hop on my meeting with my financial advisor. Here we go. Hello. Good, how are you guys? All right, we're back. Call is finished. And now I am going to finish cleaning this room because oh boy, does it need it. Hello, it is a few days later. I just waved with one finger because I have a memory card in my hand. Hi. Today is Friday and I didn't pick up the camera at all for the rest. I think I just fell off wherever I filmed last. I just really didn't feel like filming, so I didn't. I have been working out a lot this week, which has made me feel really good. I've been taking walks with Layla because it's cooled off a bit this week. So like in the evening time, we've been walking to the park and it's just been so beautiful. There's like so much beautiful desert blooming happening right now. So if it's nice, enough out tonight and we take Layla for a walk I'm gonna show you because I've just been so inspired by that lately but yes just got ready I'm wearing oh there's my shirt hanging in the background I feel like there's always a shirt hanging in the background because I like taking it out of my closet because I usually film two to three videos when I film so that's like my backup shirt but anyways I'm wearing this outfit which this top is from Wild Fable I absolutely love it I sized up so I got a double XL in this and I just love the way it fits I think it's super cute and then these shorts are a pair of thrift thrifted shorts that my friend Jasmine Whitley thrifted for me. Back in like probably last summer, I did a video on her channel where she styled me for a week and this was like probably my favorite thing she thrifted for me. Because I feel like just doing comfort things today, I think what I'm gonna do is film some videos, prep a like breakfast for me tomorrow because when I mentioned making chia pudding a couple vlogs ago, a couple people wanted to see how I made mine. I always love seeing how people make their recipes, so I'll do that. But first, gotta film some vids. Two hours later. Well, it's a couple hours later. I'm sitting here in my bra because I was changing. My stomach was growling so loudly on camera <laughs> that I had to stop filming and eat something. I'm actually having one of these perfect bars. Um, I was like kind of salty about these at first. My friend Leah introduced them to me and I was like, these are boring. <laughs> and then for whatever reason, I tried another one and I was like, 
This is amazing. It just kind of tastes like peanut butter and honey mixed together. I really like the dark chocolate almond butter one. I like this peanut butter one. I like the peanut butter chocolate chip one. Like they, I really like them. And you keep them in the fridge and they just feel like, I don't know, they're nice and cold and like, they feel really fresh to me. I don't know if they are, but I'm gonna eat some more of this because <laughs> I don't have time to break to eat a meal, but I do have time to eat a bar in my bra on the floor. This is me in my purest form. It's so funny how like I just completely became a hydro flask person because probably like three summers ago I was in Minnesota with my family and my whole family like all my cousins and stuff were all talking about their hydro flask and how they can't live without it and in my mind I was like it's just water like it's not that and they're just like it's amazing and I was like hmm and then Drew got one for his birthday like I don't know 2018 or something like that and then I was like wait I want one and then I got one and I literally cannot survive without my hydro flask. I need my icy cold water at all times. Like I would truly die without it. I drink it like 10 times in intervals. Like when I'm filming videos, I drink it when I'm taking Layla for walks. I drink it when I'm just like sitting on the couch watching TV. Like I just drink so much more water that way. And it doesn't have to be a hydro flask either. I'm um, yes, I'm talking with my mouth full. Like any water bottle that you can carry around and keep a bunch of nice cold water in highly recommend. I think I didn't really get it because <laughs> I can't believe I'm going on a tangent about a hydro flask but I've never been that obsessed with like I have to have the iciest coldest water like I'll drink a room temperature water bottle no problem. I grew up drinking water from the tap like um, I'm just not picky when it comes to water but then for some reason since I got this I've just become obsessed and I still will drink like any water. There's just something about this. I love you. This has been snack and chat time. I will catch up with you later. It's a bit later. Drew's doing some D&D stuff in the background, so if you see that, ignore it. But I'm gonna make some chia pudding. I'm so excited. Why am I excited about that? I don't know. It feels like eating, like, chocolatey goodness for breakfast. I've been eating chia pudding for years, honestly. The things you're gonna need are chia seeds, obviously. I'm just gonna do them all. Screw it. I have another bag waiting for me in the pantry. Then you take your cocoa powder or cacao powder or whatever it is you have. I think I do like a tablespoon. And that may seem like a lot, but I like it really chocolatey, so that can vary. And then typically you're gonna wanna sweeten it because it wouldn't be, it would be completely unsweetened. So I use like, sometimes I use stevia because I have packets of those. Sometimes I use sugar, sometimes I use brown sugar, sometimes I use agave, honey, like whatever I have. So I'm gonna sweeten it. Then you add your almond milk. I'm gonna do probably like, I think it's four tablespoons of seeds to a cup of liquid if I'm not mistaken. And I spilled, that's okay. Then you take the lid to whatever container it is you're using. I'm using a mason jar because it's just what we have. And then you just shake it up. I have to shake it like really hard because the cocoa powder doesn't really like to blend. There are lots of other methods, like people put maple syrup, they put vanilla extract, like you can do whatever it is you want, but this is how I like them. After a while, basically the chia seeds will like get their little gelatinous exterior and then it makes kind of like a pudding texture. Then I just like dump it in a bowl the next morning or whatever and I'll put like strawberries, bananas, whatever I feel like putting on there and it's very delicious. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I'm gonna eat this tomorrow morning. I think you can eat it after like a couple hours, but I just like wait overnight. And yes, I'm back in my pajamas, obviously. I'm gonna show you really quickly. Drew doesn't want me to show him because his hair is really, really long and he's <laughs> getting it cut next week after he gets his second vaccine. But he's doing something for D&D &D and he's creating like an island. A jungle. A jungle. Here we have it. Here's what he has created. I wanna go here. It looks like Hawaii. Wow. wow. G give us a tour. What'd you do here? What was your method? You put something in the blender, I know that much. Oh, coconut <laughs> food fiber. food processor. Coconut fiber. I'm sure there are gonna be people that are like, don't do that to your food processor, and who cares? Too late, we already did it. Yeah, too late. Bottom is chipboard, the bases are chipboard. Okay. And then I used a texture paint. Thick mud. Thick mud. Nice. And then coconut fiber on top, and then I put all the plants on. Beautiful. And now it is time to make some dinner because last night we had Shake Shack for dinner. It was delicious. He like took a break from work this morning and he came into our room and he was like, 
can we have salads for dinner tonight? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I just need something light and like vegetable-y. I was like, yeah, we can do that. So I'm gonna start by air frying some vegetables because I love a sweet green moment. And we don't have sweet green here, which is the most tragic thing of life. So I'm gonna try my best to like, I've done this in the past, like recreate a sweet green moment. So I'm just gonna do like some sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, I have some broccoli, crispy onions, croutons, nuts, quinoa, craisins, things like that. So it'll be good. Drew and I like very different salads. He's like a super savory lentils, hard boiled eggs, raw onions, things like that. I don't want any of that except maybe lentils. I like like sweet, fruity. <laughs> so we make different salads. Here's an herb garden update, by the way. We've moved some things around. The cilantro, fortunately for me, unfortunately for Drew, I think has like bolted. So I don't know if that's gonna grow in very well. But we have some oregano here. Or no, wait, this is rosemary, I think. Then we have some basil that's growing in nicely. I'm very excited about the basil. Then the cilantro, ew. And then oregano. Right there on the right, there's a tiny little sproutling. So we're making some progress. This is also, I first of all, fashion. Yes, we know. This is a very exciting time to be alive because I get to use my salad spinner that I just bought. And that is how you know you are old. We're frying up some tempeh bacon in the air fryer right now, which smells kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh, I like the way it smells. I like tempeh bacon, but I don't, like it right now in this moment. Okay, time to rinse. I just got so tired of like soppy, wet salads. I used to take like paper towels and towels and stuff and like try to dry off my greens and it just was never enough. And I remember my mom having a salad spinner when I was growing up and being like absolutely mesmerized by it. So I was like, we have to try it. I just realized you can't see anything I'm chopping, but I'm just chopping lettuce. It's not that exciting. Let's see it before. See how shiny and wet those are? Then, stick the lid on, and you spin. Ew. Eww. Why is it that color? Cause it's lettuce, <laughs> and I cut it. <laughs> now look at that. Ugh, we love to see it. And then you have all of this Juicy liquid. And you can just dump it out. All right, mixing up what I have so far. You already know. The Olive Garden croutons. And we have tempeh bacon. It doesn't taste like bacon to me, it just tastes good. And lately I've been using this Annie's Goddess Tahini Vegan Dressing. It's very good. So good. Salads 100% taste better when they're eaten out of the mixing bowl. Drew disagrees with me, but I just, I will die on this hill. Here's Drew's salad, very perfectly neat, beautiful. And here's my salad, so you can tell which one of us is the neat one. I also recently just got, dun da da da, got one of these for downstairs, because we had one for our bedroom TV and it just really sets the vibe. I can't even remember if I've talked about the fact that we started watching another British crime show. Obviously, if you watch my channel, you know the deal. We started watching a show called Line of Duty, which I believe was recommended mm -hmm. from one of you, or some of you. I think when I asked for recommendations, that was like one of the top commented ones. We're so obsessed. It's like easily worked its way into my top five now. We're already on season four. But I feel like because there are only six episodes per season and we watch like one a night, you go through it pretty fast. Or yeah, sometimes two. And then like on the weekend, we've watched like three or four. So we've like burned like, through um, it kind of fast. We don't watch too many because it's a very like heavy intense. Yeah, we like it a lot. So we just started season four. We're gonna start episode two of season four and we're just so obsessed with it. I've like yelled, I've screamed, I've rejoiced in people's death. <laughs> Mm. It's a good time. Highly recommend. The first, what, five seasons are on Hulu, and I guess there's a new season on BBC One that's airing as we speak in the UK. For all my UK friends, can you please help me out and tell me how I can watch it online? Is there like a BBC One login thing that you use? How does that work? Because I have a VPN, but I don't know how to access it, and it's not on ITV, so please help. You ready to go for a walk? 
and after dinner walkies. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. In case you were wondering, I am 100% walking the dog in my pajamas. I do not care. Some of you say that Layla's little prance gives you a lot of serotonin, so there you go. Work it, sister. Please enjoy this montage of all these beautiful desert flowers because I've become an old lady who like wants to take photos and videos of nature, but it's just so gorgeous. Like I can't get over it. So beautiful. This is like the perfect time of year. We just walked back into the house. It smells like Brussels sprouts. It stinks. We used to have a roommate named Jake who's like one of our closest friends. We haven't seen him in forever. We miss him so much. But we used to always cook Brussels sprouts and he'd come home and be like, come on. Like it smells so bad. And we'd be like, sorry. And now I know how he felt. It smells terrible. Anyways, we are now going to eat this brownie that we took from my mom's house yesterday. She made these for us. We're gonna maybe have some ice cream. We're gonna enjoy our weekend. And I don't wanna be on camera. I just wanna enjoy my quality time. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next vlog, bye.